All right, the Department of Homeland Security has a new plan to protect our borders, and it's called Run Away. The new rules say, get this, agents shall not discharge firearms in response to thrown or hurled, proje or hurled projectiles. Agents should obtain a tactical advantage in these situations, such as seeking cover or distancing themselves. Isn't that interesting? What about bringing them to justice instead or stopping them in their tracks? Dennis Michael Lynch has spent considerable time at our borders with U.S. agents and knows about the dangers firsthand. He actually did a movie on this entire thing and joins us right now. Dennis, your reaction to our new policy. This is about the size of a rock that you'll find out on the border. Right. What are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do right now? What would I do? I would duck. Okay. Or if I had a gun, I might fire and make you not throw that rock, but then I'd be in trouble. Right. This studio is much like the desert in Arizona and in Texas. There's nowhere to hide. So they want the Border Patrol agents to back off and, and duck. Where? Right. So basically what's happening now, no joke, right? is that if you are a illegal worker, if you are a member of MS-13, or God forbid you're a terrorist, this now is part of your package. You got right. a bottle of water and a rock, and then you could just get through the border. That's so basically what it is. What did you notice when you were down there in terms of the danger, and what do you think a rule like this does to the border guards who do this every single day? Brian, the one thing that I've come away with after making two films about this is the Border Patrol agents are very frustrated. They feel as if they cannot do their job because they're being handcuffed by the higher-ups at DHS. And the higher-ups at DHS are lawyers. They don't understand anything about this. So what happens is the morale goes down. The Border Patrol agents, they become crossing guards, really, if you think right. about it. And on top of that, the other part of that, that document that you left out was drug cartels. They say if a vehicle comes through, don't put yourself in, in, don't discharge your firearm against the vehicle. Stay out of the way. How do you think the drugs get through? They get through by people coming through with rocks, and they get through with trucks that come through the border. All right, now I want you to take a look at what Homeland Security is saying about this new rule and how beneficial it actually is. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, the quote as we understand it. And uh, in fact, if we could pull that up right now, that would be, uh, that would be beneficial. Here it is. Uh, this according to uh, uh, Jay Johnson. I want to commend Chief Fisher on this directive on the use of safe tactics and techniques released today, which provides further guidance to the Border Patrol workforce to lessen the likelihood of deadly force. So do you really think they're rejoicing at the border? Listen, this is all part of the United States of Obama, as I call it. His plan is to give an amnesty. I can guarantee you this, Brian. Everybody talks about Obamacare being his legacy. It's not. That doesn't fundamentally change a country because you could repeal that. But if you give amnesty to 20, 30 right. million people, that changes the country. They're well, letting these people just skip. Well, what through. do you say to people in the, uh, in the uh, Hispanic community that are upset at him for deporting so many? Yeah, you know what? I don't believe that. I've, sp I've spoke to a lot of Hispanics in making my films, and they don't, they don't condone uh, illegal behavior. They don't condone it at all. That's just, that's just BS that you hear on television all the time. It's not true. People love the rule of law. The people who came here legally, the Hispanics that came here legally, this diminishes what they did by just saying, yeah, come across, bring a rock, and eventually you'll wind up getting citizenship, and if not, we're going to give you a pretty decent job. Right. So, uh, Dennis, you've done two uh, films about this. You are alarmed about this, and you feel as a, but the more people see it, you think the more people will be like-minded like, like the, you. The problem is that it's only Fox, no joke, it's only Fox that covers stories like this. The mainstream media never touches it, Brian, and I'm not kidding. You put this in your bag, if you're an illegal immigrant wanting to cross through the border, and based on these rules, you are going to get through. Gotcha. And also, it will split your head open. Uh, Dennis Michael Lynch uh, has done two films on this. Uh, we'll continue to follow it and continue to tap into your expertise. Thanks, Brian. You All want right. the rock? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, uh, 19 minutes now after the hour.